Shout out to Claude Black for sending me this story that is coming out of New York, where you have this little boy who was a homeless refugee from uh, Nigeria, and it said that he fled violence there to come all the way to New York and ended up becoming crowned the chess champion of New York. Says an eight-year-old boy who fled Nigeria with his family is now living in a homeless shelter in New York City while his asylum application pins has been crowned the state's chess champion for his age group. Tenatalua Adewumi, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, won the state tournament for his group from kindergarten through third grade last weekend. The boy and his family fled their home in Nigeria in 2017 in fear for their lives and have been living in a homeless shelter ever since while their application for asylum pins. Tanny, as he's known to a family and friends, plays chess at the elementary school he attends and practices every night in the shelter. His father, Coyote, drives for Uber and is also a real estate broker. The family moved to the U.S. to escape Boko Haram, a terrorist group responsible for atrocious attacks against Africans. Because they are devout Christians, they feared they would be targeted. Tanny and his siblings became enrolled in local elementary schools not long after they arrived and he discovered the chess club. His mother, Olu Olu Watoyan, emailed them to say that while they could not afford to pay the fees attached, he was eager to participate. The club waived the fees to encourage him. Not only does Tanny play with them, but he also attends a free three-hour practice session in Harlem every Saturday to master his game. At night, he uses his father's laptop to practice. Now he wants to be the youngest grandmaster ever, he told the New York Times. Russ Makofsky, who runs the chess club in which Tanny plays, has launched a GoFundMe campaign to help the boy's family. He said it was astonishing how much Tanny improved since last year. One year to get to this level to climb a mountain and be the best of the best without family resources. I've never seen it, he told the Times. The GoFundMe page has nearly raised 12000 of its $25,000 goal. Another feel-good story. I mean, what else, I mean, what else could you really ask for? I mean, we are doing things here in the establishment. Got people across the pond doing wonderful things. These are the kind of stories that I like doing more so than the ones that, you know, get riddled in lamestream media. Or sometimes they even get buried there, but then they also come with a negative kind of dark connotation. So I like to bring stories like these that are brighten up the channel that uh, nobody really gets to hear about. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without my subscribers sending me these kinds of articles. So. Thank you to my subscribers who send me these stories and also shout out to this boy and his family, you know, you know, making his passion, you know, come to life and his dreams come true. I'm very sure that he's going to go far with this as long as he sticks with it. And from the looks of it, I think that's definitely going to happen. But y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I will talk to you in the next one. Oh, and before I forget. At the age of 29, I still don't even know how to play chess. Maybe I need to reach out to this boy so he maybe he could teach me how to do it because chess is, pro is like a game where you really have to think.